Hey guys, what is happening? Ryan here with Tom Matrasana and welcome to another edition of Fragrance Friday. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my first designer fragrance. Now you guys are probably thinking like, uh, we already know that it was Dolce & Cabana the one. I've talked about that several times on here, on my blog, uh, Facebook, uh, but it's not that one. The one was my first full-size bottle but my first actual designer fragrance that I got while I was using Scentbird was this one Burberry Brit this stuff it, it's not super powerful uh, but it was a major step up from what I had been using which was Avon fragrances uh, so this like I could immediately tell the difference it's a uh, classified as a woody oriental fragrance it's very um very heavy on the rose so it has a nice floral component to it as well which i really love about it i actually i bought this bottle specifically to use in an upcoming video about uh valentine's day fragrances i'll be posting that this sunday um, but this one, because the rose, I think, you know, it makes for the epitome of romantic fragrances. I, I mean, there's there's better better romantic fragrances, uh, but the rose in this one is just so strong, so beautiful, so welcoming, uh, and it would be a great date fragrance. Burberry Brit also has a bit of a nostalgic factor for me. If nostalgia can go back to four years ago, I really don't know if it can. I don't know what the parameters of nostalgia are, uh, but I definitely remember when I first sprayed this one on and I was like, holy crap, there's so much more to fragrance than what I've been used to. And, uh, you know, it, it, it absolutely true, you know, especially if you're a, a younger guy or you're somebody who's never really seen the purpose of fragrances or, you know, smelling good. Maybe you just go with something simple that you bought at CVS, you know, uh, Old Spice, or maybe you're just wearing like an aftershave or something. Uh, but there is a whole world of fragrances and, and it, it, it's literally a journey. I know a lot of people say it, you know, they say they refer to it as like their fragrance journey, uh, but that's pretty much what it is. Uh, so, you know, again, this one, Burberry Brit, was my first, my first step on the journey. Um, and I can tell you, like, man, I've come a long way from putting this stuff on way back then. Uh, but I'm really glad to finally have it in my collection because I never owned a full-size bottle. So I am welcoming this one.